All right, y'all, here's an update about the Moniz versus Princess Love thing. The Jazz Review posted the following article today, September 7th, 2018, titled, Love and Hip Hop's Moniz Slaughters Injures Hand While Trying to Fight Princess Love. Here's what they wrote. Love and Hip Hop's Moniz Slaughter Injures Hand While Trying to Fight Princess Love. Moniz Slaughter almost got into a physical altercation while at work. The Love and Hip Hop Hollywood reality star is claiming her co-star Princess Love Norwood informed her to meet her after a scene in order for Princess to remain steadfast on her word. To retract, when this current season of Love & Hip Hop Hollywood aired, Slaughter tried throwing a chair at the then-pregnant Princess Love. Considering the circumstances, Slaughter failed, but assured Princess she would rue the day they met again. Princess also taunted Slaughter, stating that after she had the baby, she would be glad to get physical with a co-star. As Princess has notably been taunting Slaughter in the past, it seems like the women have finally tried to bow out their differences. Slaughter took to social media to give brief information of what took place during their filming. In either deleted or expired video, the singer captures her white socks and grass scuffs along the bottom of her feet, rather of her foot, as she informs, quote, when that bit Princess tells you meet her after the scene, so you hide out and then you book it with no shoes on B. Okay, I'm with all the shits anytime, anywhere, end quote. She also posted a photo with her hand in the cast. She equipped a cryptic caption writing, quote, when they can't match you with words, when they can't get to you. So they throw stones instead, but your ninja reflexes are on fleek. Now, here's something that Moni said on Twitter that I missed in the previous video I made. Moni said, once again, I came prepared, sneakers, leggings, sports bra. She hopped around like a circus animal. She literally threw everything but hands. Two shoes, about 30 plastic champagne flutes, tried to throw a mic pack, then a rock right at my face. I never take my eyes off my mark. One misstep, I would have lost my face or my life depending on where the rock landed. She told me to wait after the scene, so I did came up out my shoes, made it past at least four guards, and got stopped maybe six feet from her car door. If she really wanted this work, age, I don't understand that. If she really wanted this work, age would have calmed down like I told her to, to get security to fall back. And we could have actually gotten it in. But when I walked on set, quiet as a church mouse, and she immediately goes rogue, of course security is gonna be on high alert. So at the end of the day, I came ready to bite. She immediately started barking, miss me. As Princess Love's Instagram story has been quiet, there was a comment from the Instagram personality about the incident. She alleges Slaughter did indeed wait for her after the scene, but there was no physical contact. The comment reads, if she don't shut her all bark, no bite ass up, I told this weirdo to meet me after the scene and she takes her sneakers off and runs through dirt in her socks right into security's arms and then of course tiffany campbell said at princess love i believe that s-h-i-t this b-word whole niece ain't about to fight sh for laughing crying emoji scary a word b-word okay anyways hey tiffany now and then anyways I, i'll save it uh, the beef between princess and slaughter has been uh, princess and slaughter wow uh the beef between princess and slaughter has been ongoing for the greater part of a year. The details of their falling out are vague, but Slaughter says it's due to her being a quote, for being quote, a little too familiar with her man, Ray J, after she called him Raymond at Yandy and Medici's wedding. What, really, is that this? Because <laughs> ah! Moniz did smash Ray J back in the day, right? Didn't they? Anyways, with a few more episodes left before the season finale of Love and Hip Hop, how do you think the reunion will end? Why? Well, if I had to guess, I would guess that Princess and Moniece are going to get into it, unfortunately. And this is just another <laughs> another chapter in the hashtag war on pretty. You know, I, I can't condone this. You know, it's a shame, you know. I have love for Moniece. I have love for Princess. And I don't want to see these two people destroy each other. You know, I want to see them work together. I, I always tell y'all, man, I, I don't condone this foolishness. It, it's it's wrong, and I, I just I just can't get behind it. But hey, you know, like I told y'all, there's a war on pretty out here. If these are two ugly girls, this wouldn't be happening. 
somebody would have stepped in and be like, hey, how can I help y'all? And, and in that way, y'all can treat each other like the sisters that you are. And, and that just would have been that. But since it's two beautiful women, uh, people want to sit back and watch the show. Okay. But anyways, they want to watch the fireworks. But anyways, just because I love Monice and Princess and I don't want to see this foolishness doesn't mean that you feel the same way because you might be a damn hater. All right. But anyways, me magazine and YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, thumbs up. Share this video on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, two cans with a string in the middle telepathically. Then that way, everybody and their mama, too, will get to know that Princess Love and Monice almost got into a physical altercation. Almost doesn't count. Thankfully, these two beautiful ladies did not get a chance to destroy each other and participate in the war on pretty, which they're both down with, which is downright shameful because they should be against it. But anyway, shame on both of you, pretty ladies. Shame on both of you. All right. Anyways, listen, man, if I could mediate this whole thing, I would. I would make sure that they would be cool with each other at the end of the day, but I can't because I don't have that much juice. Maybe one of y'all can do it, but I can't do it. But could you imagine if they teamed up? All of that power of pretty, could you imagine? All right, y'all, I got to go. Meet Magazine.